Hey guys, it's Lucas here from Sports Tips by Jellyman. Game two, done and dusted. The Suns take that one, 118 to 108, and now have a 2-0 series lead heading into Milwaukee for game three on Monday. Devin Booker, he was outstanding again in game two. 31 points, five rebounds, and four assists, and he looked to attack the basket at all costs. Even though not making a lot of his laps, he was finding CP3, dishing to Mikel Bridges, but he was killer throughout the mid-range again, and on his three-point shots, he was 7 of 12. So look for game three to be a lot of the same for Booker, taking those deep threes, mid-range shots. But traditionally, across this playoff so far, and only, only being his first playoff so far, he hasn't played well in game threes on the road. So obviously adjusting on the road, especially with that loud, loud Bucks crowd. Um, so it'll be an interesting game for Booker. We'll see how he pans out. Now, CP3... Once again, dominant. So 23 points and 8 assists. Not as good as his last two games he's played. But he picked his spots and openings and knew when to attack. But Holiday was right up in his grill from the get-go. And even Teague, when he came on, played some full-court defense against Paul, which sort of set him off. But he's a cool, calm, and collected character. So we expect Game 3 to be a lot of the same for CP3. And he'll be on his way to his first ring, we suspect. Uh, Mikel Bridges now for the Suns. He was outstanding. 27 points and 7 rebounds. The true X factor in this one. So, obviously, all the attention was on Aiden, CP3, and Book. And they sort of left Crowder and Mikel Bridges in the corner. And even on the cuts, Mikel Bridges cuts really hard and gets into the paint. So, look, he got some fairly easy layups, dunks. Um, but what he's needed for is his defense. So, he also made up in transition, getting back, getting some steals, and really getting up into the grill of those big wing defenders of the Bucks, um, and hopefully trying to stop Giannis, but wasn't really able to, but we'll get back to that a bit later. Um, DeAndre Aiden, as I said, a bit of a slower game, so only 10 points and 11 rebounds. Wasn't a great shooting night for him, 4 of 10, but after a dominant game one, you'd expect the Bucks to come out and really focus in on what he was doing and how they could stop him dominating the paint, getting all those boards, getting out in transition to his smaller fellas. Um, they really put the onus on that, and it actually turned into less transition points for the Suns without DeAndre Ayton grabbing it, dishing it out, and getting out the Suns quick in transition. Um, but game three, we expect a slight adjustment from Monty, but being on the road, not too sure how that'll go for them. Um, they might even look to go small at times without Ayton on the floor and really try run and gun, run and gun with a book with a Bucks um, defense, put put them on the back on their heels. Last but not least, Jay Crowder for the Suns had 11 points and 10 rebounds. And as we mentioned in the last video, he's he's hot and cold. So he came out, hit three threes, and then was non-existent for the rest of the game. But he's not needed for his scoring. Um, he's really there to be a wing defender and be up tight against those Bucks lengthy wings. Uh, now moving on to the Bucks. So Giannis, as I mentioned earlier, had a big game. 42 points, 12 rebounds, and four assists. He was dominant in the paint, had a huge Huge third quarter scoring 20 points, which is actually his first in Tally's NBA Finals experiences. So big names with him there, big names with him, but um, he needed some help. Didn't have any help. So Holiday, only 17 points, 5 rebounds and 7 assists. And Middleton, 11 points, 4 rebounds and 8 assists. So not enough production out of their 2 and 3. Unlike with, obviously, the Suns, they got plenty of production out of Book. CP, and even though Aiden was quiet, they had production out of Bridges. So they had a third scorer, which is really needed in this series. As you can see, it's a lot of run and gun basketball. Um, now moving on, game threes for the Bucks crowd. So Giannis has had two big game threes, so scored 30 plus points in his last two game threes and loves that home court. While Middleton, surprisingly, even though he has not great, um, obviously, away at the moment, but at home, he loves to home cook. So he's actually scored 35 plus points in his last two game threes. Um, and Holiday has been quiet in his last two game threes, but he's been assisting and dishing a lot more in those game threes. So look for this one. The Suns are actually one and two in game threes with obviously two of those losses coming on the road. So just adjusting quickly coming from obviously that home crowd into that away atmosphere. Um, and the Bucks are actually three and oh in game three. So a lot of home cooking for them, but um, our prediction will be the Bucks in this one to nudge one back with potentially the Suns adjusting and shifting in game four and potentially winning game four. So our prediction is Bucks win this one, Suns win the next one, and then it's back to Phoenix to see potentially if they close out the series. But um, we'll see how game three goes. We predict Gian Giannis 
and Middleton to go off again. Um, but as I said, it's all that sort of prediction. If, if Middleton shoots well, the Bucks definitely win. That's usually how it goes. Um, but thank you for your time. Once again, feel free to like, follow, and subscribe. Sports Sits by Jellyman or Lucas underscore Jellyman. And feel free to shoot us a DM if you want to see all these stats um, in your inbox. Thanks, guys.